Okay, welcome to P Tails Boxing Academy. Um, today we're going to work on hooks and uppercuts in close work and um, fighting from long distance to short distance, making the gap. Okay, so if we worked on those jabs, we worked on right hands in the last two sessions. Now we're, we're going to go now, like I say, just to hooks. We're going to do a short warm up. Good stuff. Go back the opposite way. Great. Let's go for share. Good, good, change. Let's go with his hips now. His ankles. Okay, we're gonna stand there now. Struggle stance, okay. Hands in close, shoulders there. So we're going to go like this, put your shoulders down, put your hands up. From there now we're going to come straight punching, okay? When we straight punching, keep changing my body weight. See, this heel's lifted off the ground, but I'm throwing my right hand, my right heel's off the ground. Okay, keep moving. Okay, on the end, hands are coming down like this. Shoulders are working all the time. Always in the least part with your, your knuckles. Good. Now we're going to change the hooks. Okay, there's hooks now, look. Should be 45 degree angle there. All those hooks, 45 degree angles, okay? Look, again, changing the body mass. Always when I'm back to your face. When I finish my punch, it comes back there straight away. Up and back. Up. Now we're going to sit down for your body shots. Okay, well, other cuts to the body. Again, 45 degree angle. Not like this with your punches. Coming out through into the body. If you're going through, that's somebody's body. If you're going through the body to them, try and hit them into their backbone. Down there. So again, body mass changing. Now we're going to up cuts to the face. Okay, from there, up cuts to the face. Don't put your hand down here to punch. The punch from there, from there, uh, his body mass moving up. Boom, there, boom, up, 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 up. Now we're going to put all the punches together now. Go one, two, three, four, drop your levels, up high. One, two, three, four, drop your levels, come up high. Good stuff. Hands okay now. Deep breath. Now we're just going to do some defensive movements. Hands there again. Shoulders forward again. Hands on your cheekbones. We're going to slip, slip, stand back up. Slip, stand back up. Duck, sway, roll, roll. Okay, let's go. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll, roll. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll. Roll well, nice and slow. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll, roll. Get the movements. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll, roll. When we're rolling as well, we roll, don't leave your head over there. Come back to your center position. So we roll, and I'm back there where I started. Back where I started. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll. Back where I started, roll. Now, as eight punches we did earlier, we're going to combine them with the slip movements, okay? We're going to go one, two, three, four, body, body, face, face. I finish with my right hand. So I start my slips from the right side now. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll, roll. Finish that with my right hand. I'm going to start my punches from my right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, now go to the left side. Slip, slip, duck, sway, roll, roll. Okay, well done, nice and relaxed, okay. Now we say we're gonna work on hooks and uppercuts, okay. So we're gonna work first on the biomechanics of hooks. Okay, so we're gonna start walking across, 
just making hooks first. So we're gonna walk like this. Hooks, hook, obviously arm, obviously leg. So hook, 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 hook. And then we stop. Check everything. Okay, we'll go back. Hook, hook, back, 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 back. We'll go to uh, goods. Oh, we got a little bubble goods there. Come back. Now we're going to go two hooks, two bubble goods. And then back. Now we're going to go four forward punches, hooks, two back. So we're going to go like this. We've got to re uh, change over very quick. We're going to go one, two, three. Four. Now no change in the legs, watch. One, two. Then we're gonna go forward, put us forward. One, two, three, four. Two back. One, two. Okay, let's try that again. Four forward, two back. Hooks, four forward, two back. Up a good. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now we're good. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Now we're gonna go four back, two forward. So we're gonna go backwards. One, two, three, four, two forward. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Try it again. Hooks first. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Very good. Now you find most people when you try the uppercuts, you see them in there. Uppercuts are like this. They're coming from there like this. Ah, like, ah, faces open up. The ladies with their hooks, pinching their hands back and they're getting caught. Everything has to come from rotation in your legs. So if you return there, if I, or anything, just want to hand you up there. What I want you to do, sit, hands there, sit down on a chair like this, sit down. Okay, from there, we're going to come up with a right uppercut, look, using the power from your legs. Hands are not going to move from your face. Boom. Okay, power is from there. Okay, get my elbow go, look, boom. Okay, left elbow goes the same, boom. Right elbow, boom. Left elbow, boom. Right again, boom. Left, boom. You should feel the tension in your glutes. Okay, we're gonna do the same with the hooks. Let's step forward, boom. Right elbow, hook. Again, sit back down, boom, back down. Hook, back down. Boom, back down, really explode up. Boom. Okay. Everything from your legs. Let's go for 30 seconds. Place so your legs over good. Squat down or sit down. Boom. Sit down. Boom. Hop. Boom. Hop. Boom. 30 seconds worth. Let's go. Really driving with your legs. Everything nice and strong. Really push through your glutes. Good stuff. Really push through your glutes. 10 more seconds, really driving through your glutes with every, everything, every punch strong, good rotation. Three seconds, and relax. Now we're gonna go back to the biomechanics, the punching, now we're gonna go. We're gonna throw two hooks, one slip, two overcoats, one slip. So we're gonna, we're gonna work like this. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. Now backwards is the same. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. Okay. Gonna go again. Okay. Forward again. One, two, slip. Two hooks. One, two, slip. Hooks. One, two, slip. Hooks. One, two, slip. Backwards. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. One, two, slip. Okay. There, there, things you've got to practice all the time. Now we're going to go slip roll, which is a little bit more difficult. So we're going to go three punches, then slip roll. So it's like this. It's one, two, three. Okay. Slip, roll. One, two, three, slip, roll. Okay, backwards a little bit more difficult. One, two, three, slip, roll. One, two, three, slip, roll. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds. Nice and slow. So you can you feel the movement. You feel when it's right, you feel when it's wrong. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, slip, roll. Two, three, slip, roll. One, two, three, slip, roll. One, two, three, slip, roll. 
sit, go. One, two, three, sit, go. Sit, go. Sit, go. Very good. And breathe. Very good. Okay. We're going to do work more static now. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to make three hooks, one slip, the slip to the body. So what we're going to do, we're going to go hook like this, we're going to go left, again, body mass is changed, look, left, right, left, slip, left to the body. Left to the body, look, boom, again, not going up like this, because when I go with that, somebody's body, I'm going up like this, I'm just skimming up the body. I'm going trying to go through the body, okay? So, please, one, two, three, slip, Boom, body. Finish it with left hook up to the body. Then straight away go to the right hand. Right, left, right, slip, right hook up to the body. Left, right, left, slip, body. Right, left, right, slip, body. Left, right, left, slip, left. Right, left, right, slip, right. Left, right, left, slip, left. Right, left, right, slip, right. Now let's go. 30 seconds, good rotation. All the time, hips moving like this, good rotation. Make sure your hands are always back to your face. Keep working. Another 15 seconds, speed it up now. All the time, when you finish with your left hand, you slip in, left hand. You finish with your right hand, slip right hand. Always keep it one, back, one hand back to the face. Five more seconds to go. Good stuff, and relax. Okay, every time, when, when you're fighting in close, the most important thing, you've got to keep your hands up for defense. Every time you finish punching, then you've got to make defensive moves. So now we're going to try a left hook. Hook, and you're going to roll. Hook, roll. Hook, roll. Hook, roll. Hook, roll. Again, I'm rolling with the legs again. Hands tight under the cheekbones. Hook. I'm over there now. Roll. I'm in a good position. Hook, roll. Hook, roll. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds, just left hooks. Hook, roll, hook, roll, hook, roll, hook, roll. Let's go. Good stuff. Just remind anybody that's just tuned in, you can also watch this live on Pete's YouTube channel, Taylor Boxing Academy. The link is in his Instagram bio. 10 more seconds. Then we're going to go to his right hand, right hand, right hooks. Five seconds. Good stuff. Now let's go right hand, right hand, roll. Right hand. When we're rolling, as you can see when I'm rolling, I'm preparing a punch. So I'm after being offensive, and offensive attack and making defense, but from defense I'm going into offense again. So all the time when I'm making defensive moves, I'm ready for offensive moves. Keep moving, right hand rolls. Might just face the wall and do it the other direction. Five seconds. Face the wall and do it the other, in the other direction. And relax. Now. You're going to put two punches together. You're going to go left hook, right hook, roll, roll. Okay? I'll make one more time. So you're going to left hook, right hook, okay, roll. Right hook, left hook, roll. Left hook, right hook, roll. Right hook, left hook, roll. And then we'll just do a static. So we're not moving his legs. So you're going one, two, roll. One, two, roll. But it's really important you turn in your shoulders each time. One, two, roll. One, two, roll. Okay, let's go for 30 seconds. It's important is a, is a turning to make offensive moves. Okay, be strong. One, two, and roll. One, two, and roll. One, two, and roll. One, two, and roll. All the time in this semi frontal stance, we're not square like this. Legs just slightly off. Not like this one, we're normally boxing, his legs are there. Good stuff. Now we're going to move, make it with a move. So we're going to go left hook, right hook, then we're going to roll with a step. Right hook, left hook, roll with a step. Left hook, right hook, roll with a step. Right hook, left hook, roll with a step. Okay? You step, it's very really important because you're getting around pieces. So this is a, if this is a person there, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Move back a little bit. Okay, that's the person here. I'm making a left hook, right hook, and I'm rolling around to the side of them. Boom. And then I can go left hook, out, right hook, left hook, and I roll around to the side. Boom, boom. So I'm giving myself angles. So a little step each time now with your roll. Good stuff. Keep working. 
Five seconds, keep working. And relax. Okay. Now, most people's problem is from long distance, what we've been doing for the last two weeks is jabs and right hands. From long distance, the transfer from this stance into your front frontal stance. Most people find it difficult and they end up falling. They can't make long distance to cause this. Is, they can't make the transition because the legs are all over the shop. Okay, so now we're going to go. We're going to make one, two, round one, two, step in with the left hook. Okay. So it's one, two, what we've been doing already. We can, you can make one, two like this. One, two. Okay. Or you can make a one, two like this. One, two. Okay. Now when you see when people shadow boxing, they make, they go, one, two, hook. How can you make that? One, two is long. Your hook's only half the length, so you're missing. So if I make one, two against that wall there, like this, I go, one, two, I think the wall, then my hook's there, so I'm gonna miss. You've gotta step with your hook. That's the distance you're closing the distance. So you're gonna go, sorry, one, two, hook. Okay, there I am. Now I'm a little bit out of stance. Now, because I want to get in close, in close distance, more frontal stance, I'm over where I have to look. <laughs> now I'm in, I'm in close to make a frontal stance. So again, watch me go. One, two, hook, boom. <laughs> I'm in close again, frontal stance. So let's practice that. We'll, we'll do it with steps this time. Then next time we'll do it with jumps. We're going to go one, two. Okay, in good position. Hook, boom. There, I'm out of position. All right, we'll go. Bang, 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 bang. Anything I want. Frontal stance. Okay, let's go one more time. We're going to go one, two, three, bang, 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 bang. When I, when I want to get close, I feel money in my left hook. The right hook has to be a right hook. We stand, we step on the right hook. It has to just be a little bit longer. So it's one, two, three, boom. Then we can make this difference. Okay. There you go. Good. Practice that one now. It's taking that step in. Now you're going to step. We're going to go with a jump. So you're going to go like this. One, two. Then I'm going to get. I'm going to jump with my hook. Boom. Then I step. So it's three jumps. So it's going to go. Boom, 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 boom. Get, get, I'm getting close there with my back leg. And then I'm going to stand up and down like this. Hook. Then when I'm going close, I'm going to make this leg over to make uh, the transition. Again, we're jumping with it. We're going to go one, two, hook, boom, 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 boom. Good stuff. Practice, keep going. Good. Now we're going to go to the body. Same movements. Body with the left hook. So we're going to go one, two, boom, body. Again, watch. One, two, body. Then I want to carry on. Boom, 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 boom. Again, this leg works. No problems with one, two, da, 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 da. Okay. Again, it's this moment. The, the, the. Again. One, two, dum, 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 dum. Let's go into the body. Now we're going to go one, two, three, body, head, all left hooks. So we're going to go one, two, three, body. And now from the body to the head, I don't go like this, but fetch my hand back. It's an easy transition. One, two, body from there, boom, head. Don't fetch your head, hand back is body, head. Body, head. Rotations from the hips. Okay, so it's one, two, three, bang. Again, one, two, three, bang. Now, because I'm in this position now, it's a great position there to bang my right hooks to come in. When you do your right hook from this position, it's like a swimming punch. You're coming down, down, around the back of the guard. Say so again, again, we're gonna go one, two, boom, boom, little swim, bang, swimming punch. Okay, try that one again. It's nice. Do everything slow to you've got a movement. It's one, two, three, four, bang. Good stuff. Now we're gonna go from head to body. So we're gonna go one, two, three, that's head. Then from there, you can go boom. You can make that shot like this. Bang, bang, hit me that party, bro. I can go boom, boom. Okay, so I, I personally like 
One, two, three, bang. But you can make one, two, three, hook, bang. When you make there, you've got to turn your body a little bit more to make that hook. This one's much quicker, okay? So one, two, three, body. Or you can go one, two, three, body. Okay, very good. Now we're going to make a little side step with your hook, like an angle, okay? Well, everything's there at the moment, we're just working off a one, two. So again, we make a one, two. I can make one, two like this. I can make one, two like this. And we've done this all before. I can make one, two like this. But at the end, part is the most important of this. It's a side step with the left hook. So I'm making one, two. One, two. There. Legs are still in a good position. Look. Now my hook goes. My back leg goes. Look. Bang. Now I'm in a great position. Because I moved on. All my body mass is gone with that foot. So boom. All my body weight's gone. And from there, I'm on a frontal stance. If I want, I can turn and punch. Now from there, well, I can just move to the side. Okay. From that frontal stance, I'm out. I have both hands I can punch with. I'm in a great position. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to go. Bang, 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 if I want, I can go. Bang, 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 top, bang, bang, bang. Whatever you want. Okay. Nice and fast. Again, moving that front, that back leg with your left hook. It's a one, two, we're standing. Boom, top, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we just, we just want to try that punch. Boom, 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 we're going to stay there. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever you feel like. Okay. I just want to practice again. Stepping over to the side with your left hook. And boom. Up is your arm, up is your leg. That's the bio, that's all these movements about the biomechanics. That's all with all these movements. So when you're warming up, it's all to get your hips moving. Good biomechanics. Okay. Now we're going to go. With our left hook coming back. So sometimes we need to keep creating that distance. I make a one, two, somebody could still come back at me. So I need to keep that distance. So I make one, two like this. I might not make it too hard because I want him to come to me. So I step in with a one, two, one, two. I know he's going to attack me. <laughs> Bam! I'm back with it. One, two, same time, boom, step back. One, two, up. But watch when I step back. I'm still in a position that I can do what I want afterwards. <laughs> My legs are always in position. So I'm not losing, I'm not losing um, my balance or, or my, my position of style, my stance. Okay, I jump in one, two, hook. One, two, hook, bang, 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 if I want. So you put it together, you're gonna go, one, two, stance, bang, 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 bang. Two pushes we've just done. Okay, one more, we go again, we go, one, two, back, can go one, two, boom, boom, down, down, down. It's the stepping back I'm on now. That's important. So one, two, step back. One, two, step back. One, two, step back. One, two, step back. Okay, very good. Now, that's step back. You're stepping back at the same time. You're punching at the same time as you're stepping back. Sometimes you need to develop that punch. Okay, so, so for instance, I fake my jab, hook, so I fake, hook. this time, I know it's going to come, so when I step back, I'm going to turn my right shoulder a little bit, hook, bang, I'm preparing for a strong left hook, so I fake, hook, step, bang, so when I'm jumping back, as I'm jumping, I'm turning, look, hook, good defensive position, but look at the power I can get, this heel is off the ground, and when I'm going to push, bang, this heel is off the ground. It's that body transfer again, again. So I'm in a good position. I faint. I step back, hook. Okay, this heel's off the ground. And legs are slightly bent, but when I make the left hook, watch I come up. Bang! This heel's off the ground. The push comes again. Boom! Like area, the area says we're making his right hands like this. Left hook is exactly the same. Faint, step back and roll. Bang! Come up. Power, boom. Like we did earlier, come stepping up off the chair. Or you can make it's the same with your right hook, your thing. Okay, I'm going to step back, I'm going to turn and hit my shoulder a little bit. Boom! Again, powers from my legs. Punches are coming up like this. 
and left it up, left up and come up, right up, come up, come up, right hands are coming up. Very important that we use his legs. So again, bang, step back low, bang, come nice and Very good. Okay. Now side steps. Side step left hook. Probably one of the people find the most difficult. It's like this. On side step over coach as well. So somebody attached me. Okay. If you ever see uh call it a check hook, Americans call it a check hook. Floyd Mayweather knocked out Ricky Atten, check hook. Coach him into the corner, he came, hand came, he just goes, boom. Gets out of the corner, boom, and he get out of the corner. So what you're doing is a lot of people pivot when they make this punch. But when you pivot, your legs clash. With this movement, your left, your lead leg goes to the side. Boom, and I'm leaning back. There, there's the position to be in. Their, their weight's coming forward. So you're going to go, boom. Right hook's the same, hook, boom. It's important you lean back out of the way of the punch. Okay, you can do the same movement with the left hook. We'll go, boom. Right hook, we'll go, boom. Okay. These are great shots for southpaws against orthodox orthodox, orthodox against southpaws as well. So a southpaw is attacking me with his lead hand, boom, boom. Attacking me with his back hand, boom. Same, same movement, so boom, oh, boom. So what I want you to do now is just practice them. When you step like this, it's as if you're trying to stop yourself falling over and you need to st stick your leg out, look, boom. Okay, so, so players practice hands there. No, no, no shoulder movement. Boom. 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 Yeah. Boom. Just hands on your hips. Boom. Boom. But make sure you're leaning back. If you've a line or you have something to focus on, make sure you're going each side of the line. You understand what I mean? Boom. 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 Now, now let's start with the punch. Boom. Punch. Oh, God. Oh, Punch. Punch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Punch, punch, up go, up go. Good, keep working for 15 seconds. Keep moving now from side to side. Good stuff, five seconds. Good. Now you've got to do it on a movement. It's easy standing there, static going. But now, for instance, I'm moving. I'm moving around the ring to the right side. Look, I'm moving, moving. Somebody attached, bang, I've got to move. Bang, I've got to move. Bang, I've got to move. Bang. You've got to move. So now we're in the movement, so we're moving. Boom. And keep moving. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds. Good. All the time, gotta keep moving all the time, moving. Hands up all the time, leaning back. Good stuff. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. Keep moving. Relax. Again, same, great, great position. Say someone, for instance, attach with a jab, you're in the corner, you slip, up, and leg again in a good position, slip, right hand, side step, left hook, and I'm out of the corner. So I'm in the corner now, look, I'm in the corner, yeah. So I get a tap, slip, right hand, side step, left hook. Then I can take advantage. Again, watch, slip, right hand, side step, left hook, boom, boom, boom. Take advantage. Okay, again, you're being attacked. You go back, same hand, same leg off. One, two, side step. Again, one, two, side step. Again, movements. One, two, side step, good. From there, one, two, side step, left hook. Start with your back hand, you go. One, two, boom. Again, come, come, come. Again, come, come, come. Now you just keep putting them all together now. In like a shadow box motion, you're gonna go, bam, 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 bam. Move again, move again. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. You can't keep moving. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Then you keep moving, you keep moving. Then you go. Okay, even when you're attacking, you can still make that movement. You go, stand up, go forward. One, two, side step, left hook. One, two, side step, left hook. Okay, now, what I want for one minute is shadow boxing. One, two, side step, left hooks. One, two, left hooks. 
So long distance, straight punches to short distance, making that transition backwards and forwards. One minute, let's go. Any movement you want. Okay, but punches your feet all the time. So it's like this. You go, da, da, da. to see if anybody's got it. Yeah, you can add it. Anyone who wants to ask any questions, next five minutes, or a few minutes if there's any questions, I'll answer any questions. If anyone's confused about the leg movements or any of the drills, okay, just bang out your comments now and I can answer them. The hardest thing in boxing, sometimes you see a lot of live people that can't leave a good long distance, good at short distance, good at middle distance. But the transfer from middle to close, long to close, is very difficult for them, long to middle. Use your arms to make one two. And they fall in like this and they don't know what to do because they're all over the place with the balance. You know, they, they don't know the head from their ass. Okay, your legs, everything's your legs. Show me your legs, I'll show you what box you are. If, you lose, if you're losing your legs around there, or around there, around there, then you can't make any movements. Everything is about the legs, practicing legs. Okay. Peter, and again. A question a lot of parents often ask, because I know there's a couple of parents that have kids tuning in for boxing, is in terms of a kid in a sport, should they be relentlessly focused on one sport being boxing as a kid or a teen, or what's no, your opinion on that? I think most important for, for, for young boxers is to cross train, do as many sports as you can. Because if you're, you, when you go out and get to elite level, and you've got to learn different skills, you'll find that you'll struggle if all you've ever done is boxing. And what happens is, you're working the same muscles all the time, but more you see most boxers walking around like this because they've not done any other, other exercise, and the coordination skills are not the greatest. So the more skills to do, like if they're hurling hand-eye coordination, like if it's daily, if it's rugby, it's gymnastics, anything, it's all uh, using your body weight. You, you, the, more, the more sports to do, the better. And then you can start specializing when you're around 16, 17. It doesn't matter about schoolboy, you're winning. I mean, all the schoolboy titles in the world, don't wear the shite. Okay, the, the titles are worth, are worth good when you're getting into to being senior boxing and, and intermediate boxing because um, so, so what happens? Some lads at 14, they're a biological age of 14, but and they're, and they're strong, where other lads are only mature when they're older. Okay, we've got Declan here asking, any tips for not crossing legs on check hook? On check hook? Any tips for not yeah. crossing the legs on check hook? On the check hook, the, the thing is, your, your legs always have to go the way they are, the nearest direction you're going. So if I'm going to check hook to my left, my left leg has to go first, boom. I'm going to check hook to my right, and the right leg goes first. Okay, so if I'm gonna step, step like this with a hook, boom, make sure my legs don't cross. So whatever your legs, whatever legs nearest the direction you go, goes first, left to the left, right to the right, right goes backwards, left goes forward. Don't lose your stance, down, down, all the time, boom, boom, all this movement all the time is important, then you'll never crush your legs. Georgina is asking here, is the check hook supposed to be powerful or is it just to get you out of trouble? The check hook comes power from the other person running at you. When that person comes at you, his, his momentum causes that pop punch to be powerful. Because he, he's, he's all his body mass is at you. If you just go onto YouTube and look at, as I said, Mayweather against Hatton, you no know power in that punch, but Hatton just jumps forward like this, and Mayweather just goes, boom, just catches him on a sweet spot, knocks him out cold. It's their power, and it's embarrassing as well. When you attack someone, and all the time he's checking with you like this. 
it's actually embarrassing and then you don't want to make you don't want to commit to an attack after that. Gareth Monaghan says you're keeping them going during lockdown. Gareth, any chance of flying us out of here from those lovely planes down in Newcastle, Aerodrome? We got it. <laughs> uh, Danny Fitzpatrick, do you think kids should stop boxing training for off peak season or should they do one day a week? What one day a week. Just keep a hand do other sports. Yeah, don't don't just stop doing anything, go and try other sports, you know. Um, but just keep one at one day a week and look when kids are boxing anyway, they're walking around shouting boxing and everything, and they don't even do in fitness. They they need just do one day a week, keep a hand in and just do other sports. Any of Pete's boxers there got any questions for him? Or are you all dead? We're all fat. <laughs> no making way. Pete, what's your opinion on the boxing with the COVID pandemic? When do you think people will be back in boxing matches? I, I can't see it Real, realistically. Uh, I'd say it'd be September. Um, they've cancelled Wimbledon now, which is the end of June, so I can't. And by the time everybody gets suppose back into shape because nobody's sparring with this COVID thing. So everybody will be in shape, but they won't be sparring. So they're going to need at least six weeks of sparring before this is all lockdown goes. So I can't see till September. Sam, what are you laughing at? We know you're about 70 kilos right now. <laughs> Sam's turned into a sumo wrestler. Got somebody here requesting to go live. Robo 50. Maybe he'll make a button by accident. Hmm. Give him a second, we'll see if he's connecting here. Hello Robbo, you're online there. The hair's Hello. looking good, buddy. Can you hear him? I can't yeah. get a haircut, can you? <laughs> can't get a haircut. I did me I got me all. Mac three. I I talk him with the lockdown. Good, okay, oh everything good, mate. I think everything okay. Just uh I think these, these lessons are keeping me going as well. I see you got me some Reynolds in the camp now. Yeah, Jordan, yeah. He's great, lad. He's, he's, Jordan he's, Reynolds. Yeah, he's had it. He's great. He's already he's been over a few times and uh, he's, had, he's had a great boost to the camp. He's a great lad. Yeah, big future to that lad, I think. A bit yeah. disappointed. He didn't get picked. I was personally disappointed. He didn't get he didn't get picked for Team GB, I don't understand the politics there, but hey, onwards and upwards. Yeah, yeah look. My two lads, my, my, my two lads bought team for me, Kai, Kai Thompson and Ethan, and um, they're only, Kai's 16 now, and he's Midlands uh, champ, and Jordan's done a hell of a lot for him, so I'll take my hat off to Jordan then. Yeah, happy days. What's the weather like? In the, what's the weather like? It's lovely, it's lovely, well, unfortunately, because <laughs> we can't go anywhere, but it's lovely. Yeah, well, I can't get my partner lives in Galway. I come home every three weeks and she comes in. I can't even get home to Galway at the moment. It's just an absolute joke. Yeah, sure. You're probably better off not with your partner to tell you the truth. You're better off, you know, you'll make your head at this stage. <laughs> 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 you're dro you're dropping a hint there. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, mate. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Thanks, Robert. Look after yourselves. Bye. Thank you, mate. Georgina Stewart is asking, what's the best workout for gaining power and punch for younger girls? For punch power in younger girls. The best thing you, you can do, you can do eight weeks of strength, strength and conditioning. Okay, you can do eight weeks of that. But if you do eight weeks of perfecting your technique, you'll get more punch. If if a punch is not, if you're not punching hard and just practice practice a technique. Like I say, you can do as much power work as you want, and the power work will help you when she's a, when she's a little bit older. When she's got a technique right, the power work will add maybe three or four percent of it. But it's all down to technique. Screamer says hello, and he's missing you very much right now. Missing you, screamer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny Fitz. How much full contact sparring do you think is adequate through the season uh, for boy ones to junior twos? Would you increase for champions? Is there too much or too little? What do you think is enough sparring? Yeah, when, you're sparring? To, when you're coming up to competition, um, you have different sparring. If you're sparring in your club, you're sparring the same person. So 
you kind of know each other, so it gets a little bit boring, so you need to do a task fan. But the most important with boy one is learning the skills, you know. So, you know, they should be doing a little bit more, a little bit more tech tack um, and, and pad work and, and school boxing is more important than span. But maximum amount that boy one needs to do is uh, twice a week. Okay, okay, guys, any other questions, send them over if um, anybody would like to work directly with Pete online, doing virtual one-to-one -one sessions with them, hit us up. Uh, we'll have another thing on this and roll it out. Okay, thanks. See you later, lads. Thank you. That was fucking...